Hi, this is Christine from Gecko Gully Websites. One of the problems that a lot of my clients have, um, these are uh, often clients who sell uh, products by the meter, for example, fabrics, is that they want to be able to sell partial quantities, so one and a half meters of fabric, for example. Um, I've found a way around this because uh, most shopping carts will only allow you to put whole numbers into quantity boxes. I did find a way around it a while ago and I programmed it in, um, but then I found that for the new WordPress WooCommerce sites that I was creating that the Chrome browser and also Internet Explorer 10 were not accepting the decimal point in the quantity box um, even after I'd changed a whole lot of programming. So what I have done is I have spent the last five days working out how to fix this and I've come up with what I hope is a reasonable solution. This is one of my clients websites. Um, you can see here I have changed these two products already so that they can be sold by the meter. These other products I haven't changed yet um, so I'll just click on one of these other ones to show you what it would normally look like without this um, change. So here we've got, um, you can enter one, add to cart. Um, if you try to enter 1.5, for example, and click on add to cart, um, just wait for a second. Um, it's, and then we go to the cart. It doesn't give you an error message, but it says um, that it's only entered, it's only actually in one meter. Now there's one that I had, here's one I prepared earlier. I'll just delete that so it doesn't confuse you. That's one that did work with one of the other products. Um, so you can see here that it's actually rounded down the one and a half meters and um, it will only allow you to enter whole numbers into the quantity box. Um, in some systems like Chrome, for example, you'll actually get an error message saying, hey, you're not allowed to enter anything other than a whole number in that quantity box. Now, one of the reasons why you have to enter a whole number in that quantity box is because PayPal actually won't accept um, decimal points in the quantities. So if you were to send, you know, if your customer was to choose PayPal, you know, even if I do the programming that says allow the decimal point in that quantity box, if your customer chooses PayPal, it actually gets rejected because of that decimal point. They get a great big error message. Um, so assuming that a lot of people want to use PayPal, that is a, a problem. So we still need to have whole numbers in the quantity box. So how do we get around this? So what I've done is I've come up with a solution and I'll show you in a minute how to do it where you actually say well what is the length of the piece of fabric that you want to buy so here we've got required length and because we're in Australia we sell by meters so the M means meters and we've also got up here $20, 20 sorry $21 per meter we can make that a slash M if you prefer um, and so in this box we say we want for example 1.2 meters and it automatically calculates for you what the price is going to be okay and then we can click add to cart now it is a little bit confusing in that we've got the required length here but then we've also got a one here but if you think about it as being well what's the length of the piece of fabric you want to buy 1.2 meters and how many of those pieces do you want to buy well I want to buy one okay if somebody wanted to buy let's say three quarter meter pieces they could go 0 0.25 there and then say they want three of them. Now in quilting we use a thing called a fat quarter which is a quarter of a meter. So if they wanted to buy three fat quarters they might do that. Okay, So let's use that as our example. We'll click add to cart and then we'll go and view the cart and we will see here that we have got $5.25 three pieces at 0.25 each okay and then we can proceed to check out and it's going to work all the way through to do that um, actually let me just do that and we'll scroll down and we've got there one piece three pieces and this piece happen each of these three pieces happen to be 0.25 Okay, and we'll place our order. Okay, and we can see here that PayPal has accepted it. Um, so we've got you know one piece at twenty-one dollars, three pieces 
um, and it says here required length is 0.25 for each of those three pieces so that's gone all the way through now I'm not going to pay for it but we'll just go back over to here we'll go to WooCommerce we'll go to orders now I'm going to be blurring out part of the screen because some of this has got sensitive information on it but when we go into here we can see when we scroll down here there's the one that we you know the regular type of product here we've got required length is 0.25 and we want three of them okay so that's three times 0.25 and we've got a total of $15.75 now this particular site is not looking after the inventory like they're not keeping track of the the stock levels but if they were it would actually take 0.75 off the stock level so you know 0.75 meters off the stock level um, when we change this to the status of processing so that's how that works from a customer point of view um, I think it's quite elegant it's actually a lot more elegant than saying um, you know 0.75 in the quantity box and um, but hang on a minute I want three fat quarters that sort of thing now let's let me show you how you actually set this up in products now there is a setting that I need to change for you within WooCommerce settings um, it's, it takes like two seconds to change um, basically you go into WooCommerce you go to settings you go to the category tab and you can say that you want to do this by the meter now here like the meters is your dimension here's an example of a product that we're not going to change at all because we're not going to be selling books by the meter we're just going to be selling books as each um, so and here's a couple that we've already changed and you can see here that we know we've changed it because it's got an M after that so we know we've changed it so let's go and change this next one so you just click edit like you do for a normal product just wait for the product to come up okay and now we'll scroll down and we'll find this thing called measurement which will be a new tab now if it's set to none which will, will be for books and so forth then it's not going to give you that little extra box on the front end so we change this to dimensions the next thing we want to tick is this show price show product price per unit we want to tick that the pricing label you don't need to put anything in there if you don't want to but if you wanted it to be say slash M to be like like per meter you could put that in there if you want to um, if you just leave that blank it's just going to say M on there calculated price it says check this box to define product pricing per unit and allow customers to provide custom measurements so let's click on that and then if you're doing um, the weights then you know if you're doing it by weight postage by weight for example you can if you want to click on weight the customer might not actually see the calculated weight unless they click on the um, the additional information tab but if you want to do that you can do that and then we'll just scroll down here um, these things I'm not going to change but um, the you can change that required length thing so that instead of saying required length you can say how many meters would you like or if you want to do that I'm just going to leave it at required length for the required length for now um, and you know you can also if you don't want to sell it in meters you want to sell this one for example in centimeters you can change that um, it, but the default will be whatever I've set it to in um, WooCommerce settings if you're selling something where you're selling it by the square meter or by the cubic meter we can also go the width and the height but for most of my clients you'll just be selling by length so it'll be required length and then we just go up here and click update as normal I'll just go back over here and I'll go back to the website and I'll go to the category and now you can see that this product is the one we just changed and it's now got $21 a meter on it and when we click on it we'll see that it's got the required length in meters um, the other products like for example books are not affected because we're obviously not going to be um, selling books by the meter so let's click on this one as an example
Um, so you can see there it's just going to ask you how many books do you want. Okay, So that's pretty much how you do it. You just use this new measurements tab down here and then you can um, decide you know, um, what you actually want displayed on that front end. If you don't change that measurements tab to anything then it will not give the option of um, you know, doing by the meter. So I hope that helps you. See you later.